This is it, friends, our last episode in New York City. We're doing a little stop in Murray Hill to check out Katagiri Japanese Grocery, one of the many Asian grocery shops that we visited while we were here. This one was just at another level. Open since 1907, they've been bringing quality specialty items that are hard to find in other shops. And also, they have several vendors inside offering ready-made food like sushi and ramen. Yeah, so this is one of the oldest Japanese grocery stores here in Manhattan. And so far, wow, it delivered. Got a lot of variety and foods. And I just can't wait to grab some, especially this man Musubi we saw at the front. They have the most important thing. What do they have? Cubie. Oh. <laughs> that is true. That's like the best mayonnaise. We're here at Bryant Park and we're gonna be having lunch. We bought some items at the Katagiri Japanese Market. So we have quite a few items we're gonna show you in a minute. And uh, I'm gonna start off with this Spam Musubi. And we got this at Omosubi Gombe. So what's really cool about this Japanese market is that they have a lot, like, a lot of different stalls inside. So the first stall that you'll see will sell, I guess, onigiri. onigiri. And you can get the Spam Musubi there. Ooh. Yeah, I'm excited for this. Yeah, me too. Because uh, we didn't have it in Japan. No. Like, out of all the things that we ate, we are like, oh, we want to get the hamburg steak. And we never we never went into a place that had it that we saw, right? <laughs> Let me make that correction. There was probably a lot of places that had it, we just didn't know where it was. So what's in that? Spam. Yeah, but what else? It's like cheese? And there's a, no, that's egg. <laughs> that's egg? Yeah. I thought it was cheese. You can never go wrong with spam. <laughs> I know a lot of people hate it, but I don't think too much about it. I like it, it's good. I like that uh, salty, because the egg is slightly sweet. Oh, really? Yeah, it's slightly. like tamago. Like... Yeah, it's like the Japanese style uh, omelet where it's a, a little bit sweet, which some people might find it kind of weird, but here in this combination it works because you got the salty from the spam, the sweetness from the egg, and then the rice is neutral. So. There you go. So this one's spicy tuna, and then I got kombu. Yeah, kombu. I, I really like that one. It's just plain seaweed with, I guess, some sauce. I think it's vegan too. Yeah. Mm. Big bowl of rice. So the rice to filling ratio is a little bit off. <laughs> like, you can see there's more rice and filling, but it's still delicious. Shake, shake, Sonora, shake your body line. Shake, 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 Sonora, make it all Apparently we're only dancing before eating. That hit the spot. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna have my spicy tuna. It smells like the ocean. <laughs> it's because of the seaweed. Do you get more filling in yours? Let's see. <laughs> you have to go deep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a big old meatball. It does look like a meatball. Yeah, and then they got the demi glass. Wow, you remember your culinary terms. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That's very good. It's very soft. Slightly sweet on the sauce. We couldn't leave New York without stopping by the Williamsburg neighborhood of Brooklyn. Mostly because they have really good pizza, but it's also a pretty hip area that's worth exploring. There's lots of street art and interesting shops to keep you busy. for pizza. We wanted to check out Joe's, which is a cozy corner outpost that has been around since 1975. and has quite the cult following. 
but let's see how it stands in comparison to other favorites. So we got a slice from Joe's Pizza. It looks amazing, nice and thin. It has a good cheese to sauce ratio. I'm just gonna dig in. It's really amazing. I'm gonna do the New York cold. That was amazing. <laughs> I don't know which one if I like fat cheese better on this one. I think I like this one. It's nice and thin, and uh, I can feel it's crispy. Let me take a bite. I know you're, you're right, it has a nice cheese to sauce ratio, but I think Patsy's is a bit more saucy, so I prefer that one a bit better. And you're, yeah, this is sturdier, because the crust is a bit a uh, bit thicker than Patsy's. So. For now, Patsy's is the one for me. <laughs> <laughs> right down the street from Joe's is another pizza stop with quite the following. Open since the 1960s, Vinny's offers a slightly different style of pie. Mm -hmm. What you got there? That's the right amount of fat, see? Oh uh, yeah, that's how I like my pizza. <laughs> see, uh, did you see who I have behind me? <laughs> it's fitting. It's fitting that we're eating behind the Ninja Turtles. And it's one of my favorite cartoons too. Yeah. Who's your favorite turtle? Raphael. Raphael? Mine was Donatello. <laughs> Look at this. I can't even hold it. I really like this sauce. Yeah. I wish it was a little oh, sturdier, good. but that's awesome for you. All right, this is what Maria left me. <laughs> this is a really, really thin pizza, and from the looks of it, it's uh, it's got quite a, quite a lot of sauce. So I'm happy about that. Mm. I ate all the cheese. I'm sorry. You did, but. I still got a good amount of cheese and sauce on it, and yeah, you're right, the sauce is really good. It's it's a savory sauce, it's not too sweet, so you don't get a lot of that tomato sweetness, but it's really good with the cheese, and the dough is really soft. So I know there's people that like it more crispy. I like it when it's slightly crispy, but it's softer, and this one's like that. I really enjoy this one. So we're walking on Bedford Avenue, and now we're gonna try some doubles. Doubles. <laughs> That's what I call them. Yeah. Moving on to the Bedford-Stuyvesant neighborhood of Brooklyn for another classic item on our list. All right, so you guys know we've been wanting to find doubles for like the longest time, so we're here in Brooklyn today at a a Bake, and we're gonna grab some doubles. So a a Bakes and Doubles is a no-frills Trinidadian shop serving snacks and cafeteria-style meals. But most people line up for the doubles and other breakfast sandwiches, which are made out of a bake which are the pillows of fry dough that you see here. They'll fill them with salted cod, chickpeas, corned beef, and other stews. For these two islanders, all the food here made us want to go to Trinidad. All right, let's gotta find somewhere to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to walk a long yeah. while. If you got a greasy bag, you know these are gonna be good. And these bags were transparent. <laughs> All right, so uh, which is which? I don't know. I think this is the double. Yeah. I think this is the spinach bake, and I think this is the corned beef bake. Okay, so the chickpeas, the curry chickpeas. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, the chickpeas are really good. If you ever had Puerto Rican bacalaitos, it's kind of like that spongy. Spongy texture. Yeah, that spongy texture. Oh. It's, a it's a little oily. Slightly. Yeah. But not like too much either. I want to try the the doubles. The doubles. AKA doubles, according to Maria. <laughs> so what is like what what's the filling on this one? Because I have no it's idea. It's the same. It's chana. It's chana, right? Chickpeas, yeah. And then the the dough. Oh. So it's more like a bread. Mhm. Mm mmm. This is really good. Like the doubles that we had in Detroit, the filling was more savory. Mm -hmm. and this one's sweeter. I'm not sure if they put more tamarind sauce in it. Alright, so this is the one that I wanted to try the most. 
is a bake with corned beef. You had me at corned beef. So in Puerto Rico, we usually eat corned beef with rice, with white rice, but to have it inside of a bake, that sounds awesome. <laughs> it does. It tastes amazing, guys. I think it has cabbage. Or onions? I think there's onions and or cabbage or something. This is actually something they eat for breakfast in Trinidad, so I'll eat this all day, I don't care. <laughs> oh. Right? <laughs> You can't leave New York without having a solid pastrami sandwich and a matzo ball soup. So we headed back to the Murray Hill neighborhood to check out Sarge's, a super old school deli that's been open for over 50 years. I'm so used to like the uh, the smaller soups that we get. Yeah. Mm. It's really good for the weather. Yeah. Mm. Right, it's really good. Yeah, it's really nice, nice broth. The one we had was like a boiled potato with. Was it Phil? Yeah. Look at this thing. Dude, I can just go in the morning and get like two bagels and we can make another sandwich. Yeah. The Russian sauce and the coleslaw go really well with it. Yeah, the ones that we order in Chicago from Manny's Deli have ground beef. I've never had it like this. That, yeah, it looks like a sandwich. It's like crispier in the outside. On the outside? And creamy because it's made out of potato. Mm. It's really good. It's a different kind of sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> and the beef is really good. It has mustard. Interesting. That's good. That's how. I'd say it's like a mashed potato sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Let's finish off this feast. So, walking for confessionals. <laughs> we really like this place. It was so good. What is it called again? Uh, Sarge's. 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 Look at that. Yeah. Oh my god. We don't have a lot to compare it with except. Our favorite um, deli in Chicago is Manny's, and Manny's amazing. But we really like the sandwich here. Yeah, the sandwich. Uh, it was so good. The corned beef and pastrami sandwich. Yeah. Like, whoa! It took me by surprise. Yeah. And then I really like the quiniche here, but it was different. I I still think that Manny's quiniche is my favorite. Feels it more like a potato dumpling with gravy. And it's stuffed with ground beef. It's amazing, guys. You have to go try it. Uh, but this one was good. And what else did we have? Oh, the soup. The soup was amazing. Yeah, the soup was really good, too. It was so good. And now we have to go up a hill because we're, we're <laughs> in Moore Hill. We're going up hill, yeah. And we're going to call it a day. We really hope you guys enjoyed watching us eating our way through such a fantastic city. And if you missed any of the episodes, no worries. We'll leave a link down below so you can binge watch to your heart's content. We do have to say that we did try to give New York's famous street dog another chance. And while it wasn't bad, let's just say Chicago will humbly take the crown from you on this one. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>